Hey guys, what's up? So, this is uh, a noodler's pen, a free noodler's pen that I got uh, when I bought my X Feather. So, uh, this pen uses a uh, vegetal, uh, vegetal resin, which is also used uh, apparently in vintage pens and uh you know the smell or the scent of this pen isn't so it's really unpleasant and uh for someone like me who's really new to fountain pens i kind of wanted to uh remove the scent that came with it so uh here's what i did so uh, this is ready after, after doing, uh, the removal. Um, you can't really remove the scent. Uh, although you can mask it, and make it. Uh, not so apparent. You know, so, okay. So what I use is, uh freshly ground uh, coffee beans and I uh, placed it or you know sub submerged submerged it uh, but I did it, just placed it um, deep in coffee beans oh, I mean uh, ground well, ground coffee beans and uh, I let it stay there for about two weeks Two week, well, two weeks to a month, cause I actually forgot that I uh, I had it, uh, I had it um, uh, under coffee beans. So yeah, I actually lost track time, and I just placed it like that. And after two weeks, you're going to notice that this smell is still there, but it's not as strong, and the smell of coffee beans. Or the crown coffee. I keep saying coffee beans. I'm sorry. Uh, the smell of coffee beans. Uh, here we go again. The smell of coffee uh, kind of sticks to the resin and kind of kind of makes it smell like uh, an espresso or like a French roast, which is really pleasant to be honest. Uh, I like it better than. Uh, the original smell of this vegetable resin so uh, as you can see the pen is really dirty I don't know if you can see that there's like ground coffee inside and uh, what I don't recommend doing is disassembling the pen and doing this because uh, what I did was I disassembled this as you can see the nib isn't, isn't even there the nib isn't there. Uh, I remove it. It's here. See the feed and the nib? I remove them. I removed it. That's what I did. I just placed all the parts like that. And then I placed it like that. But the problem with doing that is. Uh, you get small bits of ground coffee inside and uh, of course it's a huge pain to get them out so what I use is uh, a test tube a test tube cleaner just to brush the ground coffee out and later on Later in the day, I'll be using a vacuum just to suck the ground, uh, the ground coffee beans out and just clean this pen and make it usable again. So yeah, and that's pretty much it guys. That's how I remove the smell from the Noodler's, uh, Noodler's pen. If you like this video, kindly like and subscribe for more. Uh, wait for my new videos. Thanks, guys.